Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, just when you thought we were done with all of the recipes, we're doubling up on the sweet treats here today, Dumi, because now we're getting ready to prepare a special kind of dessert. Yeah, because we're saying you can have your cake and eat it too. And that's what we're about to make right now. Shout out to all the mothers and all the queens out there that we are celebrating. Now, what would Mother's Day be without a beautiful cake as the centerpiece? We're bringing you this flop proof clover olive pride extra virgin olive oil bundt cake that will be sure to impress your mom. The flavors of nachi and rosemary will also warm your mom's heart on this very special day. Those warm flavors, it's that time of the year now it's getting a bit chilly, mm -hmm. so this is a nice warm flavor kind of cake, you know, in terms of the, the rosemary that we're using there, the citrus that we're using, which is nachi. And I just love that this is not only something you can make ahead from it, but you can actually gift to a mother yeah. as well, not just your own mother. It's definitely like a present of sorts. Let me show you how to make the actual cake. Now, we're doing, we're going to be using our um, olive pride into this recipe. I feel like our brother is on pause there. Can you just, <laughs> no, 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 no. Just give him the instruction of what he's mixing okay. just before you continue. Okay, all he does is just going to mix the icing for us. Once you've mixed the icing, you can start putting it on the cake. And all those beautiful things you've got there, the rosemary, the nachi, and mm. the uh, hibiscus flower is just for decoration. So okay. imagine you are gifting your mom this cake. Hmm. Imagine how she would like it to look. I and what, did, what is he mixing it with? Into Just with? the icing sugar and some nachi juice. So to start off the base of our cake, we've got some caster sugar here that we've um, added to a bowl. And then we've also got some eggs. And the reason we've chosen to use caster sugar is because it does melt a lot quicker and dissolves quicker into the mixture. So I've got some eggs here that I'm going to whisk nicely into this um, batter or this mixture that we got here. And the one thing I love about the choice of using olive pride in this recipe is the fact that oil cakes tend to be a lot more softer and moisture, moisture rich than a lot of other cakes because you find that they've got this beautiful glistening color that they get just from the oil. And the great thing here is because we've chosen to use flavors like the rosemary, it actually pairs well with the flavor of the natural Natural, um, olives that we've got here because it's got a blend, a blend of olives in it which make for that unique flavor and aroma that you get from the olive pride that we're using and it's cholesterol free and rich in anti antioxidants so it's somewhat of a guilty pleasure that you can enjoy. So into this I've added some um, eggs and my sugar that's when I go in with my flavorants now which is my rosemary and my zest. These go into the uh, wet ingredients as well. And then after that, I'm just gonna add in our dry ingredients, which is our flour, some baking powder and a bit of salt. And then we just mix this baby up. Stunning. Now, Brad, I don't know about you, but I have never heard of a rosemary and nachi cake. No, never. Never. It's something new to me too. That's why it's <laughs> gonna be a gift to my mother. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> listen, we can just pack this up nicely and gift it to any mom. They definitely appreciate it. And you also are very, very generous when it comes to um, the blend of uh, olive oil here. Correct. Why? Is that how you create just that moisture when it comes to the cake? This recipe in particular uses one cup of olive oil. It uses one cup of our clover, uh, clover pride olive, uh, olive oil here. The reason for it is because we want that lightness, but we also want that glistening uh, color from it. And we want it to be a nice, uh, you know, dense type of cake. This is, whenever we're making bundt cakes, we want that from the cake itself. But obviously, if you want to replace the flavors, you're more than welcome to, to change the flavors from nachi and uh, rosemary to whatever you have, maybe vanilla. Okay. Uh, just swap out the flavor, um, ver flavor variants on your side. And how far are you with the decorating? No, it's quite simple. It's really easy. I'm just trying to make it look nice to my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's what it's all about, I suppose. You know your mom best, so you know how to decorate for her. Sometimes less is more. Some people like simplistic decorations, mm -hmm. but sometimes more is more. Mm. Well, yeah, it depends. I mean, it also does depend on your mom. Like, we're packing a lot of flavor here, not only in the batter, but we've also added that nachi flavor in the icing that uh, Brad has made. So it is about just mimicking the flavors of your mom. I mean, I just found out right now that my mom is not the person I know her to be. <laughs> so you just change it up however your mom feels on the day. That's okay. all I'm saying. <laughs> well, the batter looks very, very luxurious. Yeah. What is the baking time on we're that? We're going to bake this baby at 180 degrees for about an hour because we're using a, a bundt tin. If you've got a normal cake tin, that also just works. <laughs> Just remember to monitor it. Stick a skewer in there. If it comes out clear, then you know your baby's ready. Well, to get your hands on this recipe, simply head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. Let's get ready to cut into this cake while we're about to enjoy some music, baby. <laughs> Made with love by Clover.